Hi, I'm Tada of Mada Tsukaeru Day. Mada Tsukaeru Day is Japanese, meaning you can still use it. So, let's repair it yourself and save money, energy, and resources. Today, I'm gonna show you uh, how I clean the vacuum cleaners. And uh, I wanna talk about a little bit about the vacuum cleaners. So this is how I'm gonna clean the Roomba. So the, of course, uh, if you have used this, everyone knows that this is the, the dust cartridge. And you're gonna open this, remove the dust, that's easy. But when I was a kid, actually I remember my mom was was cleaning the uh, cleaner, uh, you know, with with this kind of dust. I mean, and after that, when it's mid eighties or nineties, I think it's definitely mid eighties. Uh, in Japan, people started to use the uh, bag, like a, a you know dust bag. So the, all the vacuum cleaner has the dust bag so that you don't need to, you know, play with all, all these dust. And it just, all you have to do is just remove the dust bag and dump it. And then you just put the new bag and that's it. And that's, that, that's I think that's the wealthiness of the, of the, the civilization, I should say. And it looks like these days, they, of course, the Roomba, helped us a lot you know basically freed us from you know the labor of the the cleaning but at the same time because they they use this kind of technologies you know we i have to basically remove dust and it's a really dirty process and this look at this it's, it's all it's an amazing amount of, of, of hair. Oh, holy crap. And I usually do this, cut the hair with scissors. That's amazing. Basically, my wife only dumped the, the trash, I mean, the dust from the cartridge and don't touch this part wheels but the wheels are differently need service but of course if you cut the hairs and remove it you can reuse it but again it's a dirty process and someone has to you know put their hands on the dirty wheels or whatever and feel like the time has going back the old time over the dirty the vacuum cleaner cleaning okay and another wheel and look at this here uh. That's amazing amount of hair. I wish I could get this amount. <laughs> and again, this is really time consuming. Of course, this machine, the, I don't need to, to clean the, uh, the room. Uh, by spending my time, it just automatically cleans the room. That's great, but still, the cleaning this machine takes some time. If it it, it was the just a dust bag kind of thing, it just uh, dump the dust bag and and they put the new dust bag in a in a second. That 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 that's even better. <laughs> Definitely even better. And the menu, actually, I, I haven't done this for a while and, and uh, as I said my wife just uh, dumped the, the cartridge uh, and and probably most of the people don't even do this kind of thing and they just buy the new rollers 
actually the renewed by the Roomba, it comes with the replacement roller. So that means the, the manufacturers expect the, to replace the roller when this happens. But you know, to me, if you remove the hair, then, then you can still use it. Then if you just throw it away, it's, it's a waste of the, the, all the energy to manufacture and the materials, everything. And it's better, of course, it's better to reuse it. As long as you, it's usable, you want to reuse it. Okay, it's clean. Uh, shake it, and sometimes the wheel, inside the wheel, there's some dust. And you want to remove this guy. Move again, all these spinning ports get the hair wrapped around. And put this back on. And today I found this guy just snapped off, so I'm gonna replace it. But even if I don't replace the these brush, uh, I actually take this apart because I know. This, this is also a spinning port and then around this shaft there's hair wrapping around yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I haven't done this for a while, so I've been lazy for a while, so and this may damage the motor. If too much of the load, then the motor is damaged. Okay, I'm gonna get the replacement brush. Okay, I got the replacement brush. It's easy. The, the, I think there is a flat, six flats, so you have to match the six flats and put the screw. I don't know for the latest model of the, this iRobot, but I really, one thing, one good thing about this robot is the, I have replaced the wheels and, and the, actually the, the tire, they worn out. So, but they they sell the parts, and if you see, it's, it's easy construction. And then you see the all the screws are here. So if you if you're an engineer and, and you're used to doing this kind of thing, it's very straightforward to take it apart and replace the module and then put back on the the service. That's great. But the at the same time, there's some limitation for the module. So the I just wanted to replace the tire, but they don't sell the tire. They sell the the tire with the motor module. So I have to buy the motor, but motor was fine. I just wanted to replace the wheels, but they don't sell the wheels. And this is one one unit. So they had some some complaints, but the overall, this is really nice module modular design. But again, I have to get dirty to clean this machine. And if I, it's been a while since I cleaned this, it, 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 at least probably once a month, <laughs> I have to do this. And then it, it's a little bit time consuming and also get dirty. Yeah. So that's the drawer. Yeah, put this guy like this. Okay, like this and ready to go that's great and here's another vacuum cleaner this actually this is made by a japanese company called iris iris oema this, overall this is great great uh, vacuum cleaner and uh, Actually, the Iris Oyama is, is a small company, but when like a Sharp or the Panasonic 
uh, they restructured and, and laid off many people's engineers. I was Oya, Oyama uh, rehired engineers from them and they make great stuff, actually great products like appliances or small things. And this is how to clean the vacuum cleaner. Again, it's not the bag, dust bag. And uh, this has uh, made, I think 2000 something, but the, you know, they go back to the older day of this kind of dirty process of cleaning. And this is the one drawback I hate it. And it looks like the, why I have to get dirty? And, and there was a technology that, you know, keeps people's hands uh, get dirt, getting dirty by using the bag. But they somewhat, the manufacturer somewhat decided to go back to the, the old time. And I don't understand. Of course, it may be because of the, the environment or whatever. But look at this this dust. Why I have to do this? Why why people don't make the the dust bag vacuum cleaner? That's that's stupid. Okay, I make this. And construction is really simple. They use the felt. And I put the felt filter. And this filter. And that's an easy process and it's really like nice construction. Uh, there's a little bit of, of, of glitches on the, the uh, battery contact issues. I may need to address this in the other video in the future, but the, this is it. And but my, look at this, my hands, it, it, it's so dirty. And why people don't think about this part these days? That's, that's stupid. So hopefully people, uh, the engineers or the designers of the vacuum cleaners will combine these technologies, the nice, nice simple technologies with the old nice uh, dust bag technologies so that the, you know, someone, if you have this one, or the, the, probably all uh, the household has at least one vacuum cleaners and then someone has to, you know, do this job. And this is bad. It's, it somehow has to get dirty like this. So the, I hope people will think about a better way of doing this. Thank you. Bye.